Simply Living Realty Group. Today I'm with Paulina and Julian with La Ola here in Kyle. So you guys are kind of perfectly sandwiched, like an ice cream sandwich, <laughs> between two great restaurants. Now I kind of have followed you guys on how this has come to be, but why don't you let everybody else know how this has come to be? Um, thanks for having us. Um, it's uh, It's been about five years since we started out. Um, and if you've been following us from the beginning, we used to be in downtown Kyle. Yes. And right before the pandemic started, um, that winter we decided we wanted to move to a better location, which is what you're talking about. Yes. Well, you know, as you know, like, in, if you're familiar with Kyle, um, Blount Creek is, is, is blowing up. For sure. And uh, this opportunity came up to be between these two restaurants, which is Texican to our right and Aviator's Pizza to our left. Yes. And it was just kind of like a natural fit. Um, and, and just, you know, right when the pandemic began is when we opened our doors. <gasps> when and the world so, shut down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it was, uh, it was kind of scary. We, nobody knew what was going to happen, right? Right. For how long. Here yes. we are two years later. Yes. The day they completed the building, they told us that everything was going to shut down. Oh, yeah, my goodness. Yeah. So, yeah, that uncertainty yeah. had to be alarming. But it, it ended up working out. The community came together. Um, we didn't actually open our doors. Uh -huh. We were doing drive up. Oh, okay. uh, we, we have a back door around the building and we just told people, hey, just drive up behind the building. We'll bring the stuff out to you. And then um, first day we we're sold out of everything. So it that worked out. Cool. Yeah, it was very cool. It was that very is cool. cool. And then it just kept going. Uh, a few months later, we were just like, you know what, let's just open up. Everybody yeah. was wearing their mask at the time. And, um, Which is hard to eat ice cream. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so here we are. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and you being sandwiched between Aviators and Texan is like prime location, and also you're right there near the Plum Creek Golf Course too. Mm -hmm. So if yeah. people want to get some ice cream after you know the round of golf yeah. or whatnot, but like, chances are people are probably going to eat Tex-Mex or pizza once a week. So yeah. the odds of them hitting you up twice a week is pretty yeah. high. I know yeah. we're guilty of that. We hit you guys up often. <laughs> Um, and you got this great location with this family vibe atmosphere out here. I know my kids like parkour out there often. Um, so what do you guys have in store for the future? Do you guys have plans to expand or, you know, create other locations? Mm. I think uh, we were thinking about expanding or opening at other locations. But I think for now we're going to start with... Um, Selling wholesale, oh. or maybe take home. Okay, trying to get to another restaurants and see if they want to sell our product or. That is yeah, cool. That's, yeah, that's on the plants right now. Yeah, you know, with uh, expansions right now, um, it's really hard to keep in, or, or to get good help or employees. Yes. So we yes. were like, let's uh, wait for things to settle mm -hmm. a little bit, and um, and also your supplies. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. You yeah. know, getting getting the um, the amounts of like, for example, the dairy amounts that we need. Sometimes we don't get what we want even for here. Oh gosh. Okay. Um, so that's that's going to be put on hold, mm -hmm. and we're going to try to take a different avenue and see you know see what works. Um, but if if anything, we just you know this is it. This is going to be the base. Yeah. Um, for as long as we can, you know. The flagship store. That's it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's smart, though, that you guys are collaborating with other businesses that want to carry your product because, I mean, there are times where I go to a restaurant and the food's great. They don't have a lot of great desserts. It's like yeah. an afterthought. Yeah. And so, yeah. you know, to pair up with another great business, that's great to do and collaborate on that and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully, hopefully it's uh, something that, you know, that could work out long term. Yeah. Uh, if not, go back to the drawing board or yeah. again, just stay right here where we're at. So, yeah. yeah. It'd be even cool if you guys had like an ice cream truck and like used it for like events and stuff in yeah. the community. I've been wanting to do that for some time. But... <laughs> and not one of those creepy ice cream trucks. No, you know? no, no. <laughs> Something cool. Yeah. Something, <laughs> something yeah. with like colors and some cool music. And you might have, yes, change the song, please. Yeah, none of that circus music. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we, yeah. um, well, we have a cart and we use that for weddings or any other catering. Yeah, okay. we don't so, like catering with that cart. But um, during summer and fall, we're just so busy that yeah. it's hard for us to even make production. Yeah. Try to keep up. Uh, for, for here. For yeah. here. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, we'll, we'll. 
I'm with the idea of the uh, truck. I like that. Yes, see? <laughs> I'm collaborating with yeah. you. Yeah. I'll that even just come out and serve out ice cream once yeah. a week for you. <laughs> yeah. Now, how many flavors do you guys have? Like, there's cases for days. How many flavors do you have? For popsicles, we have about 40, 30 to 40 oh my gosh. Okay. different flavors. Okay. And ice creams, we have 30. Different okay. flavors, so including, sur- or so. including surveys. Yeah. yeah. And you guys make that all on your own. Yes. That is insane. <laughs> like, that's really, I mean, I can make like two kinds of cookies. So that's impressive. <laughs> um, my kids love your place. One of our favorite things to do is we'll come in here for ice cream on 4th of July and sit out here and watch the fireworks right off of Plum Creek. So mm-hmm. it's definitely one of their highlights, you know, and I know I see tons of kids come in and you're all sticky and icky and whatnot, enjoying your goodness and stuff. So, you know, what... Do you, like, are you guys going to expand on things? Like, I know you guys do ice cream. How about ice cream cakes, things like that? Do you guys do those kinds of things? We started this winter with the bubble waffle. What? Ice cream. Right what there. is that? picture in there. <laughs> so it's oh a fresh made waffle. Oh. We make it yeah. here. And then oh. yeah. just put ice cream on top. With top it off that nice. is divine. <laughs> I might have to try that out. When did you start this? We like, should, we started three weeks ago. No. Okay. Four weeks ago. Two, two, three weeks ago. Two, okay, yeah. so yeah. that's new. That's nice though because most waffle cones are kind of stale and crispy yeah. and stuff. Yeah. That is great. And then it also like kind of keeps all of the ice cream in it rather than it dripping yeah. out of it and stuff. Yeah. yeah. So we did that and we brought back some um, some we, things that we used to do in the other shop. So the other shop had more uh, options. Uh huh. We had different like not just frozen stuff, but we had like fresh fruits and stuff yes. like that. We brought uh, brought back another one. It's called um, strawberries. And strawberries cream. and cream. Oh, okay. And it's like a full cup of like fresh cut strawberries, and then we pour like a, like Special a cream mix, mix over it. Ooh. And then it's got some vanilla and some whipped cream, and uh, it's like a strawberry shortcake. Kind uh, like yeah, that, but no, in liquid form. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Form with milk. No- no. So you got nice. you know, the, the strawberries are tart, and then you got the sweet cream. And yeah. It's, it's very, it's very good. Yeah. yeah. We we just need to find a way to like um, find time to make more, advertise more. Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. It's hard in the small businesses to stick out from the others, and mm-hmm. you know, yeah. social media is definitely where you need to be. So. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a good platform to have. Uh, we use Facebook and Instagram. Okay. Um, starting to mess around with tiktok a little bit okay yeah that's where it gets fun yeah but as far as like snapchat and others we we can't keep up there's too many platforms there is yeah. there is and even tiktok i find myself just cruising it i don't ever really make anything on there yeah, it's yeah. too much i mean you need to yeah. hire somebody for that so. yeah that's right <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. they change like the algorithms all the time for you know facebook and instagram yeah, so do. it's hard to keep up i'm with starting all to admit where like okay i think we should hire someone yeah that's where i'm like all right you know I know my age and I'm not you know in my tweens and my yeah. 20s so yeah. that's their cup of tea so. yeah that's right yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I have that I, I tell Juliana I, I'm starting to feel like my mom back in the day <laughs> like, mom yeah. you don't know how to use a phone I'm that's starry right. to feel like that now. Yeah. I really feel old when you tell Teach your kids, me. like, oh, yeah, you remember VCR? They're like, what? Yeah. <laughs> I have yeah. no idea. <laughs> so do you, are you guys the primary people that work here? Do you have other staff that works here? We have help. We um, have. We have a, one, of the, one of the girls that's been with us for a long time. Um, her name's Leslie. She's here when I'm not here okay. um, with customers. Okay. And she and has some really good help in the back. I have a really makes, good help. Her name is Bertha. And, and she she's makes all my, ice cream. Yeah, she, she helps me Ooh, make everything. Oh, nice. So, yeah, and our other story was just mainly me making stuff. And, yeah. But oh my now gosh. with her, it's it's a huge, yeah. huge help. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the other story was mainly her doing all the production and even sales. And, even and sales it was just mostly too. me selling all the stuff. And yeah. Like crazy line, you know, we had a line out the door. Be right with you and just losing my mind. You know, but. <laughs> it's a blessing to have, but it also is like you got to keep that family work life balance. I yeah, struggle yeah. tremendously with that. <laughs> so, you know, when you guys go on vacation, do you guys have to close the shop or is there people that are able to handle Not it anymore. all for you? Not anymore. The first two years we did, yeah. we did close for like seven days. Yeah. But that's why we choose always February to travel because yeah. it's the coldest and the slowest yeah. season. Yeah. And lately, that's when it freezes here. Yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a perfect time to Not leave. Yeah. <laughs> see, the cool thing about like a place like Kyle versus like a city like Austin or something, um, 
we would just post online and yeah. at the door, like, you know, with a sign. And people you know, would be happy. Like, yeah, yeah like, hey, we'll have fun. Yeah. Enjoy your vacation. You guys yeah. deserve Appreciate. it. Blah, blah, blah. If you do that at, like, in Austin no. or something, like, like, you know, they're, they're going to cancel One star review yep. or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yes. It, that is something that I feel for you guys as small businesses in this world of social media. One review can cause a whole whirlwind of negativity and mm-hmm. so i commend you guys for being in business during these hard times especially mm-hmm. during this pandemic and everything and you know it's definitely probably how to retune how you do things but yeah. also be appreciative of the ones that support you for sure you know? oh yeah it's absolutely 100 percent. yeah so how often do you change up your flavors i mean you have 40 so like how do you get more creative than that uh we we tend to change when our seasons okay. change. Like summer, I bring more sorbets. Like on the ice cream, I bring a, a pineapple orange. And where on the winter, I don't sell it because okay. I know it's not going to sell. Mm-hmm. Uh, on winter, I bring the Grinch ice cream, which is for mm-hmm. Christmas. That's super popular. It's a very yeah. popular one. Also, uh, yeah, I bring different. Just, yeah. yeah, it changes through the Just by the season. Seasons. Mm-hmm. And then whatever fruit we can get too. Yes. Like in the, the winter, you're not gonna find. If you find it, it's not gonna be good. Like watermelon. Right. It's so it's just like it's no more. Yeah. 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 So um, she just got rid of the Grinch, and I think she's coming up with a new flavor that was discussed today. But yeah. Ooh, Stay tuned. <laughs> I'll look forward to that yeah. one. Yeah. It's a winter. I mean, like a. It's a popular season. one. Yeah. 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 For popular sure. One. Yeah. But yeah, we uh, we tend to bring new stuff too and see if people like it if i if i see that it doesn't sell that well i take it out and then bring something else or yeah. bring something back that it was selling yeah and but i try to switch and ask also people what would they like to try yeah. yeah now i always ask the people that have a business like a restaurant or whatnot how much of the product do you consume because me in an ice cream shop would be a bad idea <laughs> I don't. You should ask him. <laughs> He's the one. You have to. I, it's quality control. You have to know what you're selling, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, yes. Like and just a nibble, not yeah, a spoonful. Yeah. I just taste before before coming into. Yeah. No, I have to. I have to make sure they're doing. But he, they're he, doing it he right. Has right the right final. Right. He has the final. Yeah. Thank God we're not like a bar or something where I have to yes. taste everything. It's, it's just ice cream. Yeah, so the COVID way to use quality control. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, about one scoop a day or yeah. something. Uh, yeah. Know, somewhere around there. And yeah. your kiddos, they love it. Our son. It took a while. It took a while. For, really? For the longest time, he was hooked on the, the lime. The lime sorbet. The lime sorbet. Okay. Yeah. Which it was my favorite when I was a kid, too. Uh-huh. Which was weird. And, and now he's more adventurous with oreo and birthday cake <laughs> but yeah but that's all he does he's so not we open oh and in... with tahini the chili powder Ooh. with the lime that's yeah. his that's his thing too. yeah that's his jam yeah but like we opened up when he was like two. a year and a half or two Almost uh-huh two. and i was like well what kid doesn't want to have parents that own an ice cream shop right yeah and uh, no it took him about two and a half three years for him to like start trying things and like oh, oh my yeah. goodness yeah but he's not impressed he's just like yeah let me get some <laughs> Yeah, it's funny how our kiddos like don't think too much of yeah. like what you do. Yeah. You we know? go to another yeah. restaurant, and he tries ice cream. Oh, it's better than yours, mom. Yeah. Oh, those are some yeah. fine words. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay, we'll see. Yeah, but, uh, yeah it's yeah. it's a uh, you know it's interesting to see how uh, and you got your kids like you said they're around the environment and yeah. you just kind of take it for granted. But yeah. It'll it'll hit it'll hit him later down like when he's older like oh you know this is what my parents used to do or whatever yeah. I hope it does anyway yeah, yeah my kids are like mom just shows houses like they don't understand any of yeah. what I do you know yeah. they came home with like a career day thing they're like mom do you know anybody cool that can come I'm like, yeah. let me let me rack my brain <laughs> yeah. yeah so I love the vibe of your guys's ice cream shop like the tile the neon light like was that your guys's or did you have an interior person come in like how did that come about we had someone to help us it was and mostly she was she's very she it was mostly her uh-huh but she, but she was very she helped me so much by i'm very undecisive like i love colors yeah, and i'm that. like i like this color but i also like this color and the the girl that helped us she was 
perfect and she she knew what i wanted uh-huh. and she was like well that's, do this or do that yeah, yeah, yeah. choose yeah. that one if that's the one you choose choose that one uh-huh. that was your first choice and she was just kind of like guiding me but she would always be like nah i don't i don't think that would look good there or, yeah yeah but she was a yeah she cynthia her name is yeah cynthia. yeah she yeah. was good. Like, they worked together very well. We but. worked, to, yeah, together very well. Well, I love She the, listened. I, <laughs> that helps. I love the neon wall over there with the saying because, like, one of my favorite places to go in Waco is Magnolia Little Cupcakes. And they have a board and they're constantly changing the saying in there. And mm-hmm. I always take a picture of my kids in front of it. So it's definitely, as we talk about TikTok, kids could come in here yeah. and film their TikTok with their ice cream yeah. or, you know, their Snap or Insta or whatever it is nowadays. And so yeah. you definitely create that vibe too for the older kids not just the younger kids right yeah yeah Yeah. and one thing that we did notice on the other uh location it was the color of our walls Uh and it tends to i love this color and i wanted to keep the same color Uh as the other one because it tends to calm kids down a little bit yeah yeah and i wanted like a calm fresh you go to other shops that sell ice cream and it's just like um you know like a bright on the wall well it's over stimulation too yeah. because you got these bright colors and all these choices and the kids the are like yes. yeah, yeah it, it can be a lot <laughs> yeah. yeah it is a great uh, part out here to have this place out here they can burn it off right. you know before they get in the car That's you need right. probably a hose down station though you know to hose <laughs> yeah. down the kiddos yeah. and their hands idea. and their yeah. faces and whatnot we should that's a great idea <laughs> yeah. Yeah. truck and a hose station you're okay. welcome <laughs> well thank you for taking the time to meet with me Thank and you. introduce your business. I just wish you guys the greatest success. My kids love you, so you guys have to stay open. So, <laughs> um, and just, you know, what's in store for you guys. So I'm excited to see that. I'm really excited to see this new flavor. I'm gonna have to come and test it. As long as it doesn't have nuts, we're good. So. Thank you. I think you're safe. All right. Well, let me know when it's out. Yeah, we will. Uh, and it, you follow us on Instagram or any of that? Yeah. That's usually where we do all our, um, yeah, any, any announcements or anything. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what is your Instagram? Uh, Laola Pantra. Okay. Yeah. And your Same Facebook? Thing as Facebook. Okay. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Yes. Well, I'll get send people that way to like you and whatnot and so they can see all the deets and the new flavors coming out. Sounds right. great. Thanks for coming out. Well, of thank course. You. Thank you. Bye, Bye guys. <laughs>